Hi, this is Rebecca and welcome to this video. Today we will be doing a stem bee pollination activity. I hope you enjoy. All right, so here's your items that you're gonna need for your stem activity. Two yellow pom-poms. Mine has adhesive on them already. If yours don't, then you're gonna need some glue. One jumbo popsicle stick. A black pipe cleaner. Two colors of construction paper of your choosing. Scissors. A pencil. Two small round containers. I have mason jar lids. And Cheeto dust. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take your popsicle stick and attach your two pom-poms to it. Like I said, mine already has adhesive on them. If yours don't, then you're just gonna glue them on. So it should look like this. Next, you're gonna take your black pipe cleaner and cut it in half. Now, with your first half, you're gonna put it in between the two yellow pipe cleaners, like so. And then you're gonna twist it together. So it should look like that. Then with the second one, you're gonna put it in behind the last yellow pipe cleaner and twist again. Then you're gonna shape it any way you want. And there you go. Here is our B. All right, so next we're gonna make our flowers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace the lid onto my first piece of paper. And now I'm gonna draw petals. You can make the petals any way you want. So here's my first flower and I'm just gonna cut it out. So here's my first flower. Now you're gonna repeat the process with your next color construction paper. And like I said, you can make the flowers any way you want.
and here is my second flower. All right, so the next part, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Cheetos and put them in a bag and crumple it together. So it looks like this, and this is going to be our pollen. So when you're done with that, you're gonna take your Cheez-Its and put it into your other mason jar lid, put it in the center, and then you're gonna take your blank one, put it right there. So here's our two flowers. This one has pollen, and this one has uh, nothing in it. So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your bee, He's landing in the flower, you know, doing his thing. And as you can see, he has pollen on his feet. So he's just getting, you know, in the flower, doing his little thing. And he's like, oh, here's another flower. I'm gonna land on that one too. So he bzzz to the next one. Once again, does his little thing. And look, the pollen from the previous flower is in the new flower. You can kind of tell, right? When a bee lands in a flower, the pollen will stick to the little hairs on the bee's legs, just like in our experiment. When the bee flies to the next flower, the pollen that's on the hair will transfer to that flower. So once again, it's gonna bzzz to the next flower and land on it and do its thing. When the pollen from the bee's legs are introduced to the flower the bee lands on, it will combine together and help create a new flower to grow. And without this process, new plants and flowers will not be able to grow. And there you go. That is how pollination works and how we have new plants and flowers. Without the bee's help, this process will never occur. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please do not forget to look at our many other amazing videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much and thanks for watching. Have a great day.